Yes. Yeah, don't get up. I got it, bro. Wow. Damn, Finn. This must be your best one yet. How long you been working on this? What, like two, three weeks? Okay, fuck off. Okay, I don't go to the bar and complain when it takes you 10 minutes to make a martini. I'm perfectly happy with where I'm at. I just hit a little creative block, that's all. Hello? Oh, hi, Mrs. Anderson. Why, yes, the building manager's right here. Oh, I'm sure he'd be delighted to come over and fix your toilet. Yeah, he's giving me the thumbs up right now. He'll be over in a second. Wait, you, you were saying something, right? About you being perfectly happy with where you're at in life? thinking of going to art school. And I said, oh, what a coincidence. Our building manager used to be a painter. <laughs> when you're 18, everybody wants to be an artist. Shh. Where did you get that? Rye sale. So weird. I'm seeing... I'm seeing seashells. Outlaw, Rambling Rose, Crab Apple. Crabs live in the fucking ocean, right? Yes, they do. Crab Apple. I'm betting on Crab Apple. Hello, my lost boys. New sweater. New for me. It's a thrift store find. Do you like it? Oh, uh, I had a little leftover. So I got these for you, babe. It's the right kind of camel hair, right? Thank you. Did you get a new journal, or...? Oh, I knew how much you wanted them, so I couldn't resist. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go start dinner. Do you guys want your favorite, lasagna? Need some help? Hey, Big Joe. Yes, I do. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. Come on. You got this. Keep fucking running. Let's go. Come on. Come on. What's up? Uh, hey, Big Ben. Oh, come on. That's uh, Joe. Crab apple. Crab apple. Come on, you little bastard. Run. Uh, come on. Run. Come on. Fuck, man. Chill out. Hey, Finn. The landlord called. Mr. Bezzeridi's rent is late. Maybe he fell and he can't get up. Uh, he's been late before. Oh, the man across the way? Yeah. I noticed a 
couple of parking tickets on his car. I guess he's got a couple parking tickets on his car, so maybe we should check on him. And I also invited Big Joe to stop by the party. Okay, but I hope he doesn't wear that tacky rent-a-cop uniform. I thought we were just inviting close friends. Yeah, uh, well, Big Joe's really cool, and he's helped me with the chairs. He's standing here right now. Don't worry, I own other outfits. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna go check on Mr. Bezzeridis. Okay, then. Hey, Mr. Bezzeridis, are you home? So I'm going to go ahead and come inside, okay? was a sure thing. No, it obviously wasn't a sure thing. He lost, Jasper. No, he was a sure thing up until the moment he lost. That makes zero sense. What the fuck? These are shots of our living room. <laughs> Mr. Bitcherabies is a peeping Tom. Yeah, I thought that too, but why take photos of our empty living room? Looks like he saved the best ones for his private collection. What is this thing? I, I think it's a camera, see? Cripes. You think you got enough film? Hmm. What? Do I even want to know? When did we knock over the coat rack? Uh, maybe it was that night we played drunk charades. You remember? No, he doesn't remember because he passed out on the couch. Well, I guess this explains the green light we see over here sometimes. Yeah, but why is this thing bolted to the floor? I don't know, but I don't like it. I don't like the sound it's making either. Uh, or how about the half-naked photos of me on the wall? It's one thing I do like about this situation. I knew something wasn't right about that old man. Hi, Mr. Kino, this is Finn from Sycamore Apartments. I'm calling you back about Mr. Bezzarides. If you could please ring me when you get a chance, that would be great. Thank you. What did the landlord say? I just left a voicemail. OK. I'm off to work. I counted the cookies, so if any go missing, there will be murder in this apartment. I'll guard them. Well, who's going to guard them from you? Perfect match. It's got to be a coincidence. Maybe. Or... or what? The camera took a picture ahead of time? Just give me a break. You just look at it. The placement of everything, my canvas. Your canvas has looked like that for months. Uh, hey, guys.
No way. Oh my god. This was last Wednesday. You remember you, you broke the mug with your four iron? Oh yeah, right. Thursday, Friday we went to the movies. Saturday we lost power, used candles. Sunday. Monday. It's tonight, Tuesday. Tomorrow. Bullshit. Mr. B invented a camera that takes pictures of the future, and he only used it to look in our apartment? Doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe he's testing it. Yeah, and this thing isn't exactly portable. Well, he's a scientist, so there's got to be some sort of logs or documentation somewhere. Just start looking. Will you guys listen to yourselves? All right, come on out, Mr. B. I know you're fucking in here in the walls or something, laughing your ass off. All right, the jig's up. Come on out, asshole. I don't think he's going to answer. Why? November 27th. The results today, positive function. The machine continues to work perfectly. However, I've seen something in the future that is disturbing to my core. I believe I've seen my death. I know the cardinal rule of time and causality is that one should not attempt to change the future. But under these circumstances, it seems to be a risk worth taking. If I believed in God, I would pray today that no greater harm will come from what I am about to do. And what? Nothing. It's the last entry a week ago today. A week ago. Seven photos. That means that it was kicking it out after he disappeared. So it must be on the timer. Eight p.m. Well, why are there so many daytime ones? Maybe it's only been taking ones at night for the last week. All right. Even I have to admit, this photo is a little fucking unsettling. I think I know where he might be. Christ. What's he keeping in here? I don't know. Him and the previous manager added this door years ago. Please, oh, please don't let him be in there. There's no way. If there was a dead body in there, we'd be able to smell it. Oh, God. What? Is he in there? Oh, my God. Close it. Close it. What happened to him? It looked like he was burned. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, did you see his suit? It was fine. It wasn't even touched. Isn't it obvious? I mean, I mean, you read his journal. He broke the cardinal rule. You don't fuck with time. Jasper, please take his hat off. It's my thinking cap. What the hell is there to think about? We need to call the police, guys. Hang on. That could be a big mistake. What do you mean? I mean, we just discovered a fucking time-traveling camera. We need to consider the possibilities. Well, one possibility is we've all been dosed with lethal amounts of radiation that, you know, could have killed Mr. B. Okay, negative Nancy, but what if we could use this thing? How? Remember how Mr. B took a photo of himself holding that sign? What if we put up, like, the newspaper? We would know what happens in the future. You know, the newspaper, Jasper? What are you thinking, arts and entertainment, or are you thinking the race results? Oh. Well, what if? I mean, think about how much money we could make. Callie, I foretell that tonight is your last night waiting tables. And instead, you can pursue writing full time. Kelly. No.
Absolutely not. We're gonna we're calling the police. Finn, I foretell that you live the rest of your life in pathetic obscurity and die penniless and insane. I'm serious, Jasper. So am I. Does it look like the cops are here? That people are buzzing about the charred corpse in the storage unit? Everything looks fine. Look, if we reported it, we probably wouldn't have had the party anyway. We'd have canceled it altogether. Uh, we can't cancel it. It's Dave and Sharon's engagement party. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, we don't report it tonight. There is a dead fucking rotting corpse in the storage unit. You can't smell anything as long as we keep the door closed. Wow. It's been down there a week. What's one more day? Uh, uh. Look, we let the party happen. We look at tomorrow's photo. And if it shows the cops taking our testimony and shit, I'll call them myself. I have to admit, I am kind of curious to see one more photo. All right, fine, one day, but one day. Fucking genius. I know, but what, what does that pay? Holy shit! I know, I mean, this, 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 the camera sees my work before I do. This is incredible. I don't have to be blocked anymore. Oh. Oh. I'm out. <laughs> yes. Time is it? How about we start with what year is it? Oh, so you, you can write in a dead man's journal, but I'm not allowed to wear his hat? This isn't poetry, Jasper. I'm making our to-do list. If we're really going through with this, we need to start making it look like Mr. B's still around. I mean, this is actually happening? What are you talking about, bro? 
It already happened. It's done. Well, I mean, we could just not go through with it. Actually, I think we have to. If I understand this correctly, this is how it works. The camera spits out a photo of us in the future. Then we go about our day making a series of decisions that lead up until that moment. But if we deviate from those decisions, then this photo never happened, which means us, the people who saw the original photo, can't go forward because our future just don't exist anymore. Well, um, what do you, what do you, what do you mean can't go forward? I mean, are, are we a hundred percent sure that's how he died? No, but do you really want to test it and find out? So it's agreed then. Now we got to do what's in the photo. Uh, okay. All right. Fine. We have to do this tonight. But we're talking about not reporting a dead body. I'm pretty sure if anybody found out, Jasper, that that's jail time. Okay, but nobody's gonna find out. I, I was over there this morning to make a list. All we have to do is bring in his newspapers, uh, water the plants. We should probably move his car so it doesn't get any more tickets. Um, I found a couple pieces of mail, maybe a couple bills, so I should probably post them. Well, you seem to have everything figured out. Dude, just relax, man. The risk is so minimal, it's, it's almost non-existent. All we have to do is make sure that storage unit door stays closed, and we become rich. And you get your paintings. All right, let's go. It's almost eight. Wait, do we have to be exactly as we were? I don't want to change anything. I don't know. Is this right? <sighs> just smile and say goodbye to your day jobs, guys. I mean, we can just check the photo. It's, it's right there.
Hey, Finn! Hey, Joe, how's it going? Hey, what's going on with the old man? I see Callie coming around here in the morning. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, he's sick in the hospital. We just come by to water his plants and look after the place for him. The hospital? Is it serious? Uh, yeah, it's pretty serious. I mean, they're just still trying to figure out what he has. Damn. Well, it's good that you guys are looking after the place. Yeah. I mean, we don't mind, so. <clears throat> but I better get back to it. No, dude, we're over here tonight because we're not in the photo from last night. It's that simple. Well, it's not what fate decided it. I mean, presumably we made decisions yesterday that made us end up here today. All right, my brain just kind of melted a bit. What, what was the original question? The question is, if you could choose something to show up in the next photo, anything, what would you choose to see? I'm a little ashamed at how good it felt to buy this dress. <laughs> Back to the question. Easy. I want a pile of money so big that I'm fucking buried in it. You are so predictable. Me? What about you? We all know what you want to see most. A rock. So you and Finn don't have to keep living in sin. Whatever. You hear that, Finn? What? You're off the hook. Oh, he's just daydreaming about two paintings a day instead of one. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, let's give guy a second here. I need to think. Oh, I never get tired of that sound. All right, come on, guys. It's not like I want to do this. Okay, then let's not do it. Uh, do I need to remind you about the roasted dead guy in our basement? We gotta do what's in the photo. Right, bro? How the hell did this happen? I don't know. Maybe it's a fucking dare. I mean, maybe we're drunk. Maybe it was an accident. It's a fucking lip lock. We didn't just bump into each other. Say something, Finn. We should destroy that machine. What? We can't do that. I know. It's too late. It doesn't matter why we do this. For all intents and purposes, it already happened. I mean, I'm in the room. I don't look mad or pissed. <clears throat> the painting's coming out great. Yeah, the painting's coming out great. You probably asked us to do it for inspiration or something. We're all friends, and we just need to trust that it's gonna be okay. Fuck! The fuck was that for? That's for kissing my girlfriend tomorrow. T minus one hour, in case you were wondering. Please stop counting down like it's a fucking shuttle lunch. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you Crab Apple was a sure thing. We just needed a few more races. Yeah, let's roll half the winnings into tomorrow's bets and I'll come pick up the rest. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, um, let, let me just get something to write on. I thought there wasn't a bottle in the photo. 
That's because it was down here. What time has it been? Ken, you okay? Yeah. Uh, no, it's just, it's this part of the painting. It's unfinished. I mean, I'm clearly about to paint it. I just, I have no idea what element goes there. Okay, Michelangelo, but we have to close our eyes to match the photo. So you're the timekeeper. Oh. Yeah, dude, it's 7.59. Just go ahead. Well, how long do we do it for? 10, 15 seconds? I'll tell you when to stop. Just go. I'll be thinking about my boyfriend. Sweet. Threesome. <laughs> Come here, asshole. Jeez, did you guys? Hey! Shit. Finn. Go get Jasper. I just wanted to. Go get Jasper. Sorry. Who is this? That's my bookie. Ivan. The guy you're always talking on the phone to? What is he doing in the apartment? I don't know. Is that normal? Have you ever seen him in our apartment before? No, it's not fucking normal. Did you tell him about the camera? No. Were you planning on it? No, never. Then what the fuck is he doing in the apartment? I said I don't know. OK, is he dangerous? Well, he takes bets from shady assholes like me. So, yeah, he's dangerous. But I don't see Marcus here. It's his goon. If I were in trouble, he'd be in this photo. Well, what if he's sitting over here out of view? I was up early this morning and I heard him moving around in his room. He came out about an hour ago, hasn't said a word. I don't know what those red pills are, but he's taken at least two of them already. Can you guys shut up for a sec? Yeah. Hey, 
Ivan, it's Jasper. I know. How's it going? What? Uh, is everything okay today? Why wouldn't it be? No reason. So, what do you want to lay down today? I, uh, no, uh, no bets. I'm, I'm just gonna cool it today. Thanks. So why did you call me? Uh, shit. Uh, I, I gotta go, Ivan. I'll, I'll talk to you later. So what does that mean? Means we wait 10 hours, figure out what the hell's happening. Babe, can we talk? Hey, Ivan. What a surprise. I was wondering why you showed up tonight, and then it occurred to me. It's probably because I called you like a paranoid fucking idiot. Hey, Ivan. What a surprise. Uh, what are you doing? He's gonna be here soon. You can't leave me alone. Well, I'm not in the picture, so send me a text message when it's done. Well, I... I'm not in the photo either, so maybe I should leave too. Where are you going? I don't know yet. Can I come? You guys are unbelievable. Real friends you turned out to be. Well, we gotta do what's in the photo. Right, bro? Are we okay? I got jealous. This is a... It's a very complicated situation. You're doing your best. And I obviously am... I'm not handling it well. You got jealous? <laughs> Tell me more. So, Ivan, I mean, what a surprise. You said that already. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I get you something to drink? You know what I like about you, Jasper? You never welched on a bed. I have never had to send Marcus over here to collect. I can appreciate that. I can. <laughs> Is that yours? Do you mind if I see it? <laughs> Come on. Let me see it. That's a nice one. Yeah. That takes me back. Believe it or not, I used to have Marcus's job. I wasn't a bad enforcer. I had my own style. You know, I used warm-up bats. They'd give me a little extra pop. Yeah. <laughs> There's this one time. God almighty. 
I suppose the kneecap guy. Standard boilerplate stuff. I've done it a hundred times, right? Only this time, I take a swing, I hit him, bam! And the bat breaks. And it sends a sliver of wood shoo, right into the guy's junk. Oh! <laughs> you should have heard him. He was screaming like a cat. I, I swear to God, as I heard the paramedics take him away, they said that one of his testicles was swollen to the size of a grapefruit. You imagine that? That pain? Ah, <laughs> oh, messy. Messy, unfortunate work. In my position, there's only one thing worse than a guy who can't make good on bets. And that's a guy who never loses bets. I'm just finally getting lucky, I guess. Just lucky. You guess. Listen, there's no fix, okay? Is it an owner? Huh? No, I swear. Look, it was just a streak, okay? No, look, okay, I, okay, I have a source. I have a source. It's reliable. I, I can't explain it. it. It could cause some serious problems. Was it a doctor? Tell me what to do when I bring in the fix. No, it... It's nothing like that. Look, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Shit. <laughs> Can't you just ride my bets? Yeah, just make the same bets I do. I know what ride means. You are such a piece of shit. I hope you enjoyed the peep show, Jasper. Finn, this is... I was just leaving. So, are we good? So... He basically knows. He doesn't know jack shit. Well, he knows that... You have some kind of information. I mean, how long is he gonna be contentious piggybacking your bets? I don't know. Forever? I got it under control. You look like hell, Jasper. Are you even sleeping? You know what, man? Get off my dick. You and Callie both get all this money for doing nothing. You should be happy. We're all in this. Callie and I are sharing the risk. I just hope that you have a backup plan because this thing with your bookie falls through. I seem to remember you wearing something a little different in tonight's photo. Screw you, Jasper. I'm not gonna start as long as he's here. Yeah, no, Jasper was just about to take a walk, aren't you? I am? Yeah. Yes, don't forget to come spy on me at 8 o'clock. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. You're gonna have to walk me through it. Sure. Um, we just need to get you in the same pose in the photo, and then I, I do the rest. You know, I'd really like to know how you got me to do this. <sighs> you and I both.
do you think? I'm just you're really you're very beautiful. Don't sound so surprised. <laughs> no. No. I just I guess it takes a moment like this to wake a guy up so we can actually see what's right in front of him. It's amazing. Even hazy and out of focus, you can still recognize your own silhouette. I wondered all day how, how is this possible? So, Mark is here. He's gonna babysit. And you, you're gonna take me to see what's over there. I would not have believed you if you told me. Kicks him out every night at eight. Yeah. What about the daytime ones? I don't know. Since we found it, it's only been doing them at night. It's this. Uh, it's, it's the newest one. Okay. Okay. Here's the deal. Every day you're gonna take this photo. And you're gonna write down the stats that go in the window tomorrow. Mark is gonna come by and pick up the photo for safekeeping. Wait, wait a second. I am not gonna repeat myself! The three of you are gonna sit right there, just like that, on the couch, so I know you're behaving. And you tell no one about this. I wouldn't want anyone messing with our little golden goose here, huh? Now would we? <laughs> I want 50%. <laughs> you take a zero off that number. That still makes you a very lucky man. Yeah. I feel real lucky. We didn't agree to this. You should have talked to us, man. I did my best, okay? We're still gonna get some money. He's gonna be making a lot of bets. It'll be fine. What happens when the guy above him gets wise to what's going on? How many more scary motherfuckers are gonna show up here looking for a piece? Ivan's smart. He's not gonna fuck this up. Oh, that's very reassuring. <sighs> it's unbelievable. Where's the photo from yesterday? Wait, you're not seriously gonna paint in a tent like this, are you? Yeah. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? We obviously have no control over what's happening. He's keeping the photos. For safekeeping. <sighs> no, that is totally unacceptable. Call him right now, call him. Tell him we'll put up the results on the window, but we're keeping the goddamn photo. Are you a fucking child? You're aware of who's on the other end of this phone, right?
I'm gonna make some tea, babe. Do you want anything? You know, you were always doing the paintings. You were just seeing what you'd already done. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that, Callie. That's what's so maddening. I painted them in the future. Now that I can't see the photograph, I end up not painting. Jasper? What? Can't you just, like, just sneak a photo on the Polaroid when it pops up? Just grab one on the phone? Since you don't see the picture today, there won't be a painting for me to photograph tomorrow. There will be if you agree to take the fucking photograph. Look, man, I mean, if your decisions are going to continue to dictate my future, can you at least make one that benefits me? And risk my neck being broken just because you can't find your mojo? Fuck that. Can't you just be happy with the money? No, I can't, Jasper. I don't give a shit about the money. At this point, I'd rather call the police or fill a bucket of water and spill it all over your precious machine. Is that a fucking threat? No, it's not. But you can't ignore the fact that some of us aren't making out on this deal very well. I'll see what I can do. There's a painting, thank the Lord. How about thank the Jasper? Hmm. What now? Well, it's just, it's kind of strange. It doesn't look like something I would normally paint. It looks like you did it in a hurry. See, that paint stopped dripping. Yeah. Maybe it's a warning. Oh, what? Maybe something bad's about to happen. You're sending us a warning. Look, we look scared, right? And I'm staring up at that painting. I'm trying to tell myself something. I mean, we don't look happy, but the situation isn't exactly ideal. No. You said it yourself, Finn. That's not something you normally paint. Yeah, but art's weird, man. I'm just I'm glad there's something on the canvas. Just relax, Jasper. What if Jasper's right? What if something terrible is going to happen tomorrow? Then we wouldn't be in the photo, right? We'd have left. Okay. Why don't we? You want to leave? Yeah. We can pack our bags and just go. Oh, what? Just leave Jasper? Deal with everything on his own? He wouldn't care. He'd be fine machine over there, I mean, you can't just walk away from it when there's still hope for things to work out. I don't see why we do that. Okay. I 
trust you. Besides, you have to admit, this machine is, it's working magic on you. What can I say? I like being in use. Hey, Joe. Uh, you on duty tonight? Actually, uh, yesterday was my last shift, so I'm just dropping off the keys. Last shift? Yeah, man, I'm moving up to the big time. Oh, shit. Congratulations. That's great. Awesome. Everything all right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, hey. Let me give you one of my cards. Let's have a drink sometime. Yeah. Stay in touch, man. You too, Joe. just caught me talking to Big Joe. What the fuck happened? Well, nothing happened. It's just, you know, it's Big Joe's last night, so he gives me his card. What did Marcus do? He, he made a phone call, he drove off. Mother fucking shit, fuck! Well, well wait, can't we just tell him it wasn't anything? No, because he's not going to believe us. I, it's okay. It's okay, because I fucking planned for this. I hid weapons around the house. Wait, what? Only because you made that fucking skull painting, okay? You have to make that painting before the camera goes off. Make the fucking painting! Uh, okay, I'm sorry. You hid weapons in our house? Yes, I hid weapons in our fucking house. Why did you hide weapons? Do you know who the fuck these people are? What exactly did you hide? Just sit still and calm down. No, I I'm very worried Just about Just sit this. still and calm down. What happens after the picture gets taken? We wait. We just sit here and wait. They'll come in, they'll ask us some questions, and if it goes well, that'll be that. What if it doesn't go well? Finn, there's a hammer under the couch.
just the building's rent a cop. And why is this a police officer's card? Well, he just became one. All right. He was dropping off his keys. It was his last shift. I didn't tell him anything about you or the machine. So. I would love to believe that. Unfortunately, I can't afford to trust you. What's he looking for? Uh, maybe I can help? She's your girlfriend, yes? Yes. Maybe you can help. Let's see if we can remember anything new. Uh, I see you. Boyfriend. Adrenaline. Mind racing. Trust me. You're not fast enough. There is an easy way out of this, and that's just to answer my fucking questions. Please don't. You're gonna die. Why do I feel a total lack of concern? Because you haven't seen tomorrow's photo yet. It shows your murder. <laughs> and who kills me, huh? You? He does. Maybe it's for the money. You must have a fortune in winnings already. You should slide your chair over this way. I'm serious. Once he sees that photo, he's gonna aim through that window and shoot you in the back. Where's Jasper? Marcus, where's Jasper? That was Callie. She, uh, she burned her hand on the stove. Yeah. 
Everything's fine. Thank you. Bye now. You can't leave them in here forever, you know. Oh shit. It's just for now. Alright, what's next? Next? Next I go get my money from Ivan's. <sighs> Thank you for cleaning up the living room. You mean the blood? Thank you for cleaning up the blood that could have been mine. You're welcome. Babe. Don't! I'm just trying to make sure you're okay. Do I look okay? What can I do? Why don't you go paint? Holy hell. I know, right? This is just the start. Jasper, I think, uh, I think we should leave. Split the money, get out of the country or get on the other side of it, just get away from the machine. Are you out of your fucking mind? The safest place on Earth is right here. As long as we see ourselves in that photo every day, we know we're alive tomorrow. Callie and I, we, uh... We what? You know. All I know is that Jasper saved my life tonight. I'm going to bed. Jasper, can you give me something to sleep? Um, I, I'm Dr. Heidegger. F forgive the hour and, and my appearance. Well, um, how can I help you? Henry Bezzarides is, is a colleague of mine. Does, does he live in the apartment across the way? Yeah. Yes, he does. I knocked. There was no answer. What's going on? Uh, Dr. Heide Heidegger mm. is here. Uh, she's looking for Mr. Bezzarides. Can you tell her that he moved out a couple months ago? Did he give you his hat before he left? So we, uh, we found his journal, and from what we've read, I guess he, he saw something bad. I know. And he tried to change it. I know. He sent me a letter. After Henry retired, he kept me up on his experiments. To be honest, I didn't think they'd amount to much. Poor Henry. Yep. Don't fuck with time. You think time did this? That he was somehow punished for trying to change the future? Well, what else would do that to someone? Thorium gas would be my first guess. You see the coil over there? I'm 
Guessing he was stretching for it up on that shelf there when he knocked over the canister. It's just an accident, his death, that's all. Nothing more. And I suspect he was panicked whilst in the process of uh, trying to avoid this. You see his hat on the couch and what looks like his blood on the window? It seems that he met an unpleasant end, but clearly this photograph, which takes place tomorrow, had nothing to do with him at all. Oh, it's ironic. Tomorrow? How could he have taken the photo when the camera only shoots one day ahead of time? Why? Well, I don't know where you're getting your data, but I believe you're mistaken. This letter's postmarked a week ago, so he had to have taken the photo at least that far in advance. Oh, we, how could he have... How Hang can you mail the photo? You're telling me you can shoot a photo whenever you want? No, I don't know about whenever you want. Evidently, Henry had moved past the initial tests and had got it to look further. Do, do you think he could change the settings? <laughs> Henry shared his results with me, but not his methods. <laughs> I don't know any more about the controls than you do. That's too bad. That lady didn't mean us any harm. What about the gun in her hand? She wasn't gonna use it. You don't fucking know that, okay? And if I didn't act, then Callie would be waking up to our dead bodies. At the very least, the police would have shown up. Sounds like Jasper is just trying to protect us. Well, you were not there. Ready for your big moment? Hell yes. Do you want me to go over there and make sure you've got it right? Yeah. What's tomorrow's look like? Hey, Kelly. Is that tomorrow's photo? Well, fine, I don't want to see it. Can we please pack one of your bags and let's leave? You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Do you not hear Dr. Heidecker? She said it was an accident, so that means things can change. And I think I'm gonna take my chances with that, so please, come on. Go ahead. Commit suicide. But don't kill your girlfriend in the process. Photo? 
Okay, fine, let me see it. I'll rip the band-aid off already. How's she doing? What is she doing? She's passed out. She was distraught. I gave her something. Take the edge off. Oh, man. It was so good when it was good. We had such a cool relationship. Sorry, man. No, it's not your fault. It's my fault. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I got this a year ago. And I couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs> Why is that? You were right. I was scared. Coward. I mean, it's, I'm not a painter. I'm a, I'm a glorified janitor, and she deserves more than that. I mean, I wanted to be more than that. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've been blaming you in my head for all of this. And who knows, maybe it was me that was making the decisions secretly. You know, just... <sighs> sabotaging everything out of fear. Huh? I mean, maybe there's a way to fix this, too. I think it's too late. I'm starting to like that smell. How fucked up is that? When I saw this suitcase, I knew you'd left the program. I don't give a fuck what Dr. Hayden Schmeiden says. He don't fuck with time. I need you alive at least one more day. If I have to drug you, put you on that sofa myself, so help me, I will. Here. I should keep you warm.
Did I send you down here? Why would I do this? Who the fuck is this? You motherfucker! Don't you dare! I'll fucking kill you and wear your skin! Well, if you do that, the bucket's gonna fall. Get Callie and give her the phone. Can you see me? Hello? Jasper knocked me out last night and he locked me in the storage unit. What? He's going to kill you. No, he would never. Give me the phone. If you don't put that bucket down, I'm gonna blow our brains all over this fucking window! You're gonna kill us anyway. You're gonna kill me if I put the bucket down or not. There's only one way out of this. We walk away. If we walk away, you get to keep your machine. Hurry up! This bucket is getting heavy. Give Kelly the phone. I want you to look in, in Jasper's hoodie pocket. He has something of yours. Something I got a long time ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I haven't been there for you. It's okay. You are now. Take the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give it to me. Now back up. Over there. Whatever you say. Maybe this will keep you warm at night. Where will you go? Far. 
I'm gonna need some of this. Take as much as you want. Well, yeah, you could always make more, right? Don't forget your ring. But we need to go. Oh, my God. Look, the photo, it changed. Oh, thank God. When I saw that photo of you two together. No, it's okay. I just, I didn't think I'd be able to change anything if Dr. Heidecker's letter didn't, um... I paint this for Mr. B so I'd be able to use his keys to get out of the storage unit. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you uh, when we leave. We need to go before the cops show up. Okay, I'm gonna get you that ice. going to paint this? We haven't changed anything. Well, where did this come from? I thought you were getting ice. I was. I am. Uh... What were you saying? You should probably go lay down. Put this ice on your head. What the fuck was that? The camera just went off. What? Get... I can explain. No. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, talk to me. Tell me what's going on. Look, let's just go sit down. No, talk. when we got the call that Mr. B was behind on his rent and I went to check on him. Hey, Mr. Bezzarides, are you home? I found the machine and sticking out of the camera was a photo. Oh, 
The reason there are nighttime and daytime photos on the wall of Mr. B's apartment is because the camera takes a photo at 8 p.m. and 8 a.m. By keeping you and Jasper from knowing that, I could secretly pass messages back to myself. You're up early. So I, I caught you in the kitchen just now. What, uh, what were you doing? I was hiding this. Last night, when Jasper posed with all of the money, I switched out the photos. I switched them back just now. I've seen all the nighttime photos in Jasper's dad, so when was this taken? His friend before. Before when? A month ago, drunk straight. Look, it didn't mean anything. I was just acting out. <laughs> Get drunk sometimes. And... Look, I, it was almost as if I, I wanted to get caught so you would wake up. That's an excuse, yeah. I'm sorry for being so weak. I just, I can't. I, I can't believe that you and allow this. It's, you had every opportunity to prevent it, to warn us about it. Well, why didn't you do that? Uh, I was just doing what the photos told me to. I was getting pulled along like we all were. <laughs> and, and don't you see? Everything happened for a reason. Look, everything we had before was fading. You were so distant. But then you got jealous for the first time in ages. Feel your kiss again. And you said it. It takes a moment like this to wake a guy up to what's right in front of you. Little by little, we were coming back together. But then. You kept picking the machine and your work over us, so I had to do something to bring you back to your senses. And then today, you fought for us. Harder than I have ever seen you fight for anything. So in the end, everything worked out. Everything worked out. What are you doing? I'm gonna do what we should have done from the start, and I'm gonna destroy that fucking machine. Stop, please, stop. You said we can change things, right? Then all I have to do is put a new note in the window for tonight's picture. Then, when I get the message last night, I'll know to prevent you from catching me at the window just now. You'll never find the photos. We'll never have had this conversation. If you destroy the machine, I can't fix this. I wish you hadn't made me do that. It's gonna be okay. We won't remember any of this tomorrow. It's gonna be okay.
What are you doing here, Joe? I got a message from Finn. He said that you two were leaving town. I might be interested to see what Jasper was up to. What's on the window? Can I come in? Sure, fine. It doesn't matter. Tonight, none of this will matter. I guess you might have some questions for me.